Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see if we can get the mink over here and then lift it up a little bit higher. Oh, here, he's got one. Good job, good job, good mink. Yeah, the mink got one too. My name is Joseph Carter and I am the Mink Man. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who were impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. So today we're at the feedlot again, and we're gonna try and get a bunch of rats. It's gonna be hard without my females because um, our other females obviously have babies, so we can't bring them. Uh, I've had a couple people ask why we aren't using the males, and the reason is the males are almost twice the size of the females. So they can barely, if at all, fit down the rat holes. So we're gonna try in, in this haystack, I think we might be able to get them in there. Ready? Yep. One of the gate. Good job, mink. good mink. Yeah, the mink got one too. Oh, there's a little baby. Get it. <laughs> drop it, drop it, drop it. Hey, drop it. Good mink, come here. Oh, there's an arnie, there's an arnie. Come here, mink. Here, here, here. After the dog and mink had caught roughly a dozen rats, we realized that the rest of the rats were now hiding in tight spaces in the haystack where the big male mink couldn't follow. So to help clean out the rest of the rats, we brought in the front end loader to help move the hay bales one by one. Now, this looks a little more hectic and dangerous for the dog than it really was. The operator of the front end loader was very careful in stopping to, with our hand signals so that he didn't accidentally run over or smash the dog. Look at them all. Tons of babies. You're gonna have to find a surrogate mother for these little guys. Like that should have been so full of rats. So that that just shows how good we did before the hunts before here, right. clearing them out. Because that should have had triple that number of rats. Yeah. I mean, over along the feeders, we'd move one little thing, and more than just what we just caught came out. Yeah. And we, so we've really cleaned this place up, like really cleaned this place up. Some of you may wonder why, in the first few videos, we used only mink and rarely used the tractor to move the objects for capturing rats. Oftentimes there are a dozen or even a couple dozen rats hiding in the same place. Even with a whole pack of dogs, there's no way to catch all of the scattering rats. We find that it's far more efficient to put a mink down the hole so that they flush one or two at a time rather than scattering by the dozens. But now that we've killed the vast majority of the rats on previous hunts, we can safely use the tractor and not have as many rats scattering at once as we would have if we started with the tractor. Also, the fact that we're using mostly males on this hunt requires that we use the tractor because the male mink can't fit down the small holes that the females can. In this instance, there ended up being far more rats hiding in this spot than we expected. This shows a perfect example of what would happen if we started out using the tractor rather than cleaning the place up with the mink first. Notice how many rats we lost, but had we had a little female mink to slide under this, we probably wouldn't have lost a single one. Okay, we gotta get the mink, there's too many. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. 
So slide it in and move it. Just, just hold it. I'm gonna put the mink. So turn. I'm gonna put the mink under. Find it. Get it. You get it. Is it under the tire? <laughs> it's in the tread. It hit in the tread. She can't get it. Okay. Hold so watch over here. What's up? What's up? Come here. Come here. What's up? Come here. Come here. I thought. Oh, she's used that one. Good boy. Just that one. I thought there might have been a whole oh, bunch. I zoomed in too far. Oh, dog's got one. Dog's got one. Good dog. Good girl. Is that Brock? Yeah, that's Brock. Oh. Good dog. So there's one under this wheel. So I say back up. <laughs> roll forward just a little bit. Okay. And we'll get it. Come here, pup. I'm going around the other side. Onsa, Onsa, come here. They're all gathering at this end. There's too many though, huh? We should put the mink again. Yeah, put, yeah. If he'll if he'll just hold it there, the mink will be safe. Okay, yeah. Have him turn it We're off. Gonna, turn it off. We're gonna put the mink under. There's just a ton of them, and they all came this way. <laughs> What's that? There's, there, a, there's bunch. a bunch, and they all just came kind of this way. Onsa, come here. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Watch. Okay, you ready? Go on, Brock. Show us what you got, big guy. Get underneath there. He's got one, yeah, he's got one over here. Good job. Good job, Brock. Look at that instant death. Good job, Brock. Get another one, boy. Good boy, Brock. Oh, there's there's a bunch that are they're down in a hole he can't quite get to. Yeah. He's gonna squeeze over. Oh, he's got one. He's got one right here. Good girl. Brock, Brock, come here. Bring it here, Onsa. Get it, Onsa. Get back underneath there, Brock. Good dog. Good dog. Good girl. Out. Let's call them. Let's see if we can get the mink over here and then lift it up a little bit higher. Oh, here. He's got one. Get under here. Get under here, boy. He's, going he, he's trying to find a way under. There he goes. Man, I love watching Brock hunt. He is okay. so onto it. Somewhere. But if we would have just left this, we would have lost a bunch. Yeah, Doing this... this with the mink? Oh, look, he's dragging one that he killed. Oh, he's going to cash it? Oh, no, I think he found another nest is what it is. <laughs> Come on, Brock. Come on up. Ah, I can't hang on good enough. There you go. Come on, Brock. Oh, he, well, he got a piece to eat. <laughs> there you go. Go in your box. Now that we'd hit all the places that could be moved with a yeah. tractor, yeah. we brought out little Abby. 
And since she was a female, she can easily fit down the rat holes, and we can clean out a few spots that we need a female for. <clears throat> Rats! It's on the fence! Where'd it go? Can you see it? It's over here. Good girl! Good dog! That was a sweet save! That was a sweet save. Bring it here. Here comes the mink. Bring it here. Good girl. That was a sweet save. Good dog. Out. Oh, that's such a good dog. Out. Oh, that's such a good dog. That was awesome. She caught it just as it was shooting back down. You ready, cameraman? I'm ready. She found something. I don't know, I thought I heard some fighting, you know. Oh, yep, I told you. What's that? Good girl. Another nest. Out. Good dog. One just went back in to the lion. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> I didn't want it to bite me. Oh, what's up, mama? Okay, let's see if Abby will go down there again. I don't think she will. She wouldn't go down that one anymore. You feel nice and cool, Abby? She'll go down there again. Come here. There she goes. Go down that hole. Good girl. Oh. She's down. Oh, there's a baby rat right here. Good boy, Joseph. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. So the mink killed another one in there, and the dog finally got the mama, and I got another baby. Nice. A live one? Yeah. You redeemed yourself, Onsa. Good girl, Abby. Today was a big day. Um, as far as numbers, we actually beat our old record. Now, a lot of these were babies, so you could argue that that's not the same or that it is, however you want to look at it. But we got a lot either way. We got a total of 63 rats. So all these adults, and we got a bucket full of babies. These little babies we're going to take home and um, find some domestic moms that are nursing. Let them raise them up. Use them for mink food, of course, or sell them as snake food. But they're worth more fig than they are little. So we'll keep those guys alive and nurse them on some mamas. Um, got all these dead ones, a couple live ones we caught by hand. And then on top of the 63 rats, we also got uh, eight little mice, some of which we fed to the mink. So we got a few there, a couple down there. So eight mice, 63 rats. One cool thing about this is if you notice, in this is the fifth time we've been here, usually this is like the smallest rat we get, right? If you remember the other videos, they were almost all this big, and then we'd see a couple like this. So the interesting thing about rats is they're very cannibalistic. Um, so all the rats about this size and under, well, kind of this size and under, they're all fair game for the bigger rats, especially the males. They'll kill and eat the babies just as fast as the moms have them when they get too overpopulated. So sometimes people think that rats will just keep growing infinitely. That's not true. They, without any predators, they'll start to control their own numbers once they get to a certain point. They just start killing and eating each other. But once you kill them down enough, um, then you start to see younger rats like this and all these little babies, obviously, start springing up because they aren't so crammed. The moms actually have enough room to go out and have babies and have them not immediately be killed by a male. And so... Seeing all these young and baby rats is a great sign because that means we've actually hit the population so hard they're back to reproduction stage again. So we just got to keep on it, get the, get the 
rest of the breeders knocked down. Obviously, keep it up with the babies. Keep the babies from, from growing up to breeders. And uh, we'll be able to get this farm taken care of. So we're getting close to being at the... the uh, I mean, right now, we're still at the cleanup stage. Next couple times, we'll be able to have a couple more cleanouts like this. And then after that, it'll just be maintenance. Coming back once a month or every other month just to hit a few stragglers, make sure they don't bounce back. So we're getting the job done, excited to see this kind of result where the dynamics are changing from all adults like we were getting before to them obviously reproducing and trying to bounce back. So we're getting the job done just a few more times and then it'll be on to just maintenance. Appreciate you guys watching, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll show you more next time we come out. Now if you're really wanting to dive into mink and learn the nitty gritty details, I would strongly recommend you read my book, The New Sport of Minkinry. It has 242 pages of valuable information for anyone who's considering getting a mink themselves or really just want to learn about this incredible little animal.